Hey there, today I'm doing a review on the Winsor & Newton Cotman watercolors. So I have this huge Winsor & Newton set and I've had this for about a year I think or even longer. And this set is a pretty... Yeah, you can see here that it's hard to open and then everything falls out and that's super annoying. <laughs> and I have a bunch of things with this palette that I don't really like. Um, but since I already have it at home, I wanted to just show you all the colors in there. And what I really wanted to talk about is the smaller set that you can get for about $12.00. And um, that's incredibly cheap and you get 12 colors for $12 and that's the reason why I wanted to do a review on them. But I didn't want to be super wasteful and buy a set when I already have all the colors in this huge set. But to be honest, I don't really recommend buying this huge set because it has 45 colors, which sounds awesome and they look awesome together. But I honestly never use this set like that because you just don't need this many watercolors. You just don't. You pick your favorite ones, you use them over and over again and you just don't need this many watercolors i've never seen someone need this many colors before and uh for me personally the reason the, the only reason why i would get this huge set is to pick the favorite colors and just use them so <laughs> and that's what exactly what I did. I got this set as a present and I was super super happy about it at first but then I never used all the colors so I picked my favorite ones and put them into palettes with other paints and I just used my favorite paints from this set. So I just wanted to talk about the overall quality of the paints so that you can figure out if you want maybe to buy a smaller set because you absolutely don't need this huge set. <laughs> uh, and I didn't even find it on the American Amazon. I don't know if they still sell it there because I found it on the uh, German Amazon but not on the US Amazon. So I'm not gonna even link it down below so I don't even recommend it because it's just too huge and my favorite favorite color from this set has to be the sap green it's just it's such a beautiful color and it is in the smallest set for $12 so if I were to buy watercolors for this price I would probably buy this set because I really love those colors, honestly. I've been using, as I said, I've been using some of those in my sets and the downside of these paints, so they're about uh, $1 per paint pan and per half pan and the downside is probably that they're not too light fast and that's always the disadvantage of cheaper watercolors. Some of them, as you can see on the right, some of them are fairly opaque, but it's not too bad, to be honest. They're pretty transparent most of the time. Most of the colors are pretty transparent, and there are just a few that are a little bit opaque, and obviously the Chinese white paints are quite opaque as you would expect them to be. I don't know why they really include the Chinese white. It's also in the smaller set. Uh, it's, I don't know, it's pretty useless because it doesn't really work like a Chinese white or a white gouache because it's not as opaque as gouache should be. But yeah, it's nice to have it in there, so it's okay. But I would rather have another color in there. Um, yeah, I just did this very small little doodle of some plants here to show you the colors. And as you can see here, I didn't even use all the colors here. I just... I. I used the color palette and stuck to this palette. And you will never ever 
use all these colors you will always mix your colors the only thing that i really see missing on the smaller set is a magenta tone or any kind of pink tone i don't know whether the red in the smaller set really is really usable as a pink tone so here you can see um, the colors using a really wet surface really a wet on wet technique you can see the paint how it spreads i wanted to include former pieces that i did so you can really see how the paint works in action on a yeah bigger scale it's not really big but okay uh and yeah i don't really know about the the tin that it comes in as i have not tested that but the colors yeah go for it for this price they are probably not that light fast so if you want to sell your pieces the original pieces they're probably not the right thing for you you gotta invest in high quality paints but if you're a beginner or just having fun with art and don't want to hang it up on your wall, go ahead and buy those. They're probably the best that you can get for the price. I really hope that you liked this video and if you did so, please give it a thumbs up. And until next time, goodbye!